To find the surface area of a rectangular prism, all we are really doing is finding the area of all six rectangles or surfaces of that rectangular prism and adding those areas together. We are going to start out by identifying the dimensions of the front surface of this rectangular prism. The dimensions of this front surface are 8 by 12. So we are going to write 8 times 12 inside a set of parentheses. Because the front surface is 8 by 12, the back surface will be the same dimensions. So we are going to write a number 2 on the outside of parentheses. This simply means we have two rectangles that have the dimensions of 8 by 12. Next, let's identify the dimensions of the right surface. The dimensions are 4 by 12. And because the left surface is identical to the right surface, once again, we are going to write a 2 on the outside of our set of parentheses. And the top surface has dimensions of 4 by 8. Because the top surface is 4 by 8, the bottom surface is also 4 by 8. So once again, we are going to write a 2 on the outside of our parentheses. Now, we are going to simplify what we have written until we have one answer left, which will be the surface area of our rectangular prism. When multiplying 8 by 12, we get 96. So the area of the front rectangle is 96 square inches. And because the back surface is identical in area, we have two rectangles with an area of 96. When we multiply 4 times 12, we get an area of 48. So the right surface has an area of 48, as does the left surface as well. And for the top surface and the bottom surface, each one of those have an area of 32 square units. After combining the areas of the front and the back surfaces, we get a total area of 192 square units. Combining the area of the left and the right surfaces, we get a total area of 96 square units. And when combining the area of the top and the bottom surfaces, we get a total area of 64 square units. When adding all three of those totals together, we get a total surface area of 352 square inches. So it would take 352 square inches to completely cover all six surfaces of this particular rectangular prism.